Sabaho everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the Azul Access Plus. This is a Windows 10 fanless PC stick that has 4 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of internal storage, two USB ports, a full-size Ethernet port on the back, as well as Wi-Fi to be able to connect you and give you great streaming experience on your TV or on your monitor. I want to say thank you very much for Azul for sponsoring this video and I want to tell you guys that the opinions and what I'm sharing with you today is based on me testing this device with the keyboard that was sent to me for over a week. This is TK, let's check it out. Azul sent me two different pieces. They sent me the PC stick itself as well as a keyboard. This is a wireless keyboard that can use that could be used to with this device, as this is really intended to be connected to a monitor or TV that's far away from you. Let's go ahead and check out the keyboard real quick, and then we'll focus on the Azul PC. The keyboard is pretty much a two-piece accessory. Uh, there's the dongle that you're going to connect to the Azul PC stick, and here's the keyboard. It is battery powered. They do provide you with two AA batteries to be able to connect, and once you have that on, you can turn on the switch on and off to be able to use the keyboard. Turn it off and keep it off so that you don't waste the battery. As far as the setup, it's pretty standard, very nice, you know, travel on it. Um, nothing major, we do have the window key, the function key, and we also have, it seems like, uh, some Android function keys, the back, the home, and the recents app, um, and of course, media controls on top. We also have the volume control on the right side and a mouse. You notice that there's a yellow button on the left side here. This is to give you kind of like that control where you actually select with the left hand and then scroll with the right. You don't have to actually do the acrobatics of using this like this. Of course, right clicking is still there, uh, but if you want to use left click, which is most of the time, this will work very nice. Now that we got the keyboard out of the way, the Azul Access Plus fanless mini PC stick. Now, the main benefit here is this is fanless, means you're not going to get any sound out of it. It does get a little bit warm because of, obviously because of the, uh, the air circulation is not as good as something that does have a fan, but it doesn't have any issues with it. Um, and the only time will get really, really warm to the touch is when you're doing like heavy gaming or if you're doing heavy streaming, like a lot of multitasking. It's great for reading emails playing videos, uh, light gaming, uh, browsing, you know, Twitter, Facebook, social media accounts, and then connecting with friends using some, you know, media accounts. Uh, the other thing here we have is running a full version Windows 10, and it is using an Atom-based processor. Looking at the specs, this is the 4 gig model, not the 2 gig model. This is the higher end version, and the reason why I wanted to show you guys this one is because this is really when you can start using the full potential of multitasking and running different things, and we'll show that to you in the demo. It has built-in 32 gigs of storage with an expandable SD card that you can go up to 128 gigs. Of course, you still have access to that USB 3.0 and 2.0, and we'll get into that with the hands-on. As far as the uh, CPU, we are running an Intel Cherry Trail T3 Z3300. Z8300. Uh, it's a quad core running at 1.44 at rest time, you know, in moderate usage, and at heavy times it can go up to 1.8 gigahertz. There is a, uh, a warning sticker that it is put on the actual device that says it can get very hot to the touch as this is a fanless PC, which means it doesn't have a really good way to manage heat. It does have a very nice design, but just be aware that you don't want to necessarily go and touch it all the time. Cracking open the box, we get the Azul PC stick. We have the power brick. This is a rated at five volt at 3000 milliamps, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go ahead and look at it here. Yep, five volts at 3000 milliamps, and you're gonna be using this to power up your PC stick. I uh, don't recommend using an aftermarket, just stick to what you get. Uh, we do uh, get a, an extension cable for the HDMI side, and I'll explain, because aesthetically, this may not fit in the back of your TV. You may have too many HDMI ports that are next to each other, so connecting it to this oops, makes it much simpler to connect to what is a standard availability on a standard HDMI port. Looking at the design, you can see there's like the ridges here. Hopefully, this is showing on camera, and this is mostly to do heat dissipation. It's kind of like a heat sink design. We have a microphone that's built in on the top, a power button on the right connection. This is the power micro USB connector that we're going to use. A USB 3.0 port and a USB 2.0 port uh, that we're going to use for data. I'm going to be mostly using USB 3.0 as the 2.0 will probably be just for my keyboard. Uh, on the back, we have a headphone jack to be able to media output, a full size uh, network cable connection. So if you have that, please use that as this will give you a very good connection. A Kensington lock, we have the Wi-Fi antenna on this side. And other than the Wi-Fi antenna, we have a slot for the micro SD card. So this would be a great spot for me to put in my micro SD card. It does have 32 gigs of built-in storage. I just added another 32 gig card, just basically just doubling my storage. And you want to use this for storing your media and all the videos and things that you're going to be putting here so that you can keep the internal storage running just for the operating system. On the top, we have a full-size HDMI cable or connector that we can use to connect to another system. Or if you want, you can use the extension to put it in. For streaming content, this device is exactly what you need. Um, you can connect it to your monitor, to your TV. And now, even if it's a 4K monitor, it will connect. This does actually broadcast at 4K, 
although it's optimized to work in 1080p. So I'm keeping it in 1080p resolution right now. And as you can see here, I have four different streaming media options. Plex on the upper left, I have Hulu on the right side, and I have Netflix on the bottom right, as well as YouTube, just using normal YouTube on, in my Firefox browser. And I'm able to stream four things at the same time. I'm gonna go ahead and start the process. I'm gonna lower the volume now because it's gonna get a little bit loud. Now, the keyboard works really good because of the volume controls that are easily accessible here. You also have the ability of left clicking here on the left side. Let's go ahead and mute the audio. Left side click, so you can actually click on the left and then move your mouse. So you don't have to worry about clicking here and trying to do this little uh, you know, acrobatics holding the keyboard. Very nice, very simple. So we go ahead and start up. And I'm actually gonna blow up some of the uh, images here, so I don't wanna get the uh, actually a strike for doing copyrighted content. But I just wanna show you guys that it does actually stream. And then here again, we have access to our Plex server. I'm gonna sound. Main benefit here again, it, this is a great streamer having four gigs of RAM on this unit just to be able to stream all four of these contents at the same time is amazing. That's one of the benefits of having all that extra RAM. Now on a two gig version, this will work the same way, but it's not gonna be as efficient. And again, you, you don't actually have to be watching four different streams of things. You can actually have like a word pad um, and just basically start typing. Just say, hey, TK Bay, if you'd like to write up my name and still watch your content on all four channels and all different streaming uh, services. And that's really the benefit here. So I can have them all running. Now let's go ahead and turn them on. And we'll turn on YouTube as well. And again, turn on. Not that this is optimal, but again, this is something that you could do and you could just delete it again and just say, hello world. And if you don't know how to spell when you're doing a video, you just try it again. I have VLC installed as well. Again, we tested out Hulu, Netflix. Uh, you can do some light gaming. I wouldn't necessarily call this a very good gaming PC. So uh, let's go ahead and open up Asphalt. I'm gonna show you a quick demo real quick of a gameplay. This is just, again, Asphalt. Um, it's normal. Uh, it's not meant to be playing heavy, heavy in, you know, uh, endurance games. So you're gonna definitely get the best experience on this with some of the games on the Microsoft Play, uh, App Store. So download anything from there and you can test it out. Again, I'm just gonna do a quick demo. Let's lower the volume a little bit. And here is my first knockout. And here's my flip and final crash. Just to make sure that you guys can see, this does actually support 4K. Now you can go to 4K settings. I'm not saying it's not capable of supporting it. Current resolution that I demoed for you guys with the video is at 1080p. So if we go over to this resolution, it is gonna set to it and it is gonna go, everything is gonna go just super small. You can basically have three different sites using it, using the full benefit of 4K. It's not gonna have any issues here. So when you start playing heavy media, heavy me uh, consum memory consuming media, that this is gonna start stuttering a little bit. So this is just the main thing you wanna keep in mind. The Azul PC stick has a lot of benefit into it. Obviously it's a quad core processor. It has four gigs of RAM, which is more and over and above most of the ones that are on the market now. They do have two different versions of this. There's the two gig and the four gig. And I was very happy that they were able to send me a four gig model. They also were able to send me a keyboard with this. This is the uh, Logitech keyboard that comes with a built-in mouse. And as I showed you guys with the hands-on when I unboxed this, that little button on the top left, it's very functional, gives you the ability to use this as a mouse pad. So you can select with the left hand and then you can scroll with your right hand. A much better experience as this is really intended to be more connected to a TV or something that's not going to be very close to you. Definitely very enjoyable in 1080p, works very, very well. The four gigs of RAM can knock it out of the park. I'm able to have multiple streams, still run everything and it works beautifully, very smooth, very nice. Does it support 4K? Now you saw, I showed you guys I was able to go up to 4K at 30 hertz. Again, limitation of my monitor. It will work in 4K. Is it the best optimal experience? I'm not gonna say it's really, really great in 4K. If you're just browsing Twitter, Facebook, uh, writing a paper or doing you know, some type of research, it's gonna work great. If you're gonna start taxing the system, you're gonna start noticing some stutters. Again, this is a fanless PC. It's intended to be mobile and it's intended to give you a good experience. And really it's targeted to work best in 1080p at this point. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I wanna say thank you very much for Azul for letting me have this device to be able to check out for you guys and give you guys my opinion of this. Again, as this is my personal experience, um, as you guys have seen with my other videos. Uh, like and subscribe as usual. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Of course, the links for both the keyboard and the PC stick will be provided to you guys in the description below. And again, thank you very much for the support. I'll see you guys in the next video.